Hello, so here, welcome to a new video tutorial. In this video, we are going to automate some Netta task with Ansible. The name of this laboratory is Green Start with Own Tab Automation using Ansible. And from the lab perspective, from the lab guide, I mean, um, these are the exercises. This video will be divided in three sections. A speed up commonly repeated task, automate large scale administration, and simplify on tap the zero task. Okay. Okay, so let's open the web browser to log in into the NetApp system. We are going to log in into cluster number one with admin credential. Let's go to storage, volumes, and here we can see some application volumes, the SVM root volume, and then we have several volumes with the naming convention user underscore and then the username of the company. In this case, here we can see is the first name, then the first letter of the last name, Grace L, then S, Steve R. Uh, let's take a look into the shared drives on the shared section. And here we can see that uh, these volumes are already mounted in the junction path and are shared as a shared drive. So if we double click in here into the SVM CF shared drives, he can see here we can see them already available for anyone. So as you can see here, they are protected with uh, Windows authentication. And for this scenario, we will be creating a new volume for a, for a user called SAML. So let's take a look into the playbook. Uh, before we go to the playbook, uh, let's go to the volumes back. I want to show you uh, the volume, this particular uh, user Kate H volume. And here we can see that this is a 10 gigabyte volume. And the snapshot policy configured for this, uh, for this volume is default. Okay. So let's open uh, the playbook with Notepad++. I'm expanding this. And here in the top, we have three playbooks. For the, the new user playbook, we will be using uh, one second. At the community windows, collection of modules. This is an announceable collection of modules, community.windows. And we will be using this particular uh, collection of modules uh, for creating a new AD user. We will be using this particular module from that collection, Win Domain User. And here we can see all the information of, of the parameters of uh, in the playbook. Here we have the name, the first name, surname, and password. And the, pa uh, the password expiration, domain username, and all the information that our new employee will be requiring for, uh, for registering into the AD. Uh, next, we have uh, the collection called NetApp ONTAP. This is the module, the NetApp Ansible module. And here we can see the name of the tasks. Uh, here we are going to provision user volume in non tap. In order to provision that uh, volume, we will be using the then the module NA on tap volume, then NA on tap SIFs for creating a share. Uh, then we will be configuring the ACL, the access control list, and we will be removing the default. Uh, entry for uh, everyone having access into the new newly created shared drive with the same uh, Ansible module, Ansible NetApp module, NA on tap SIFS ACL. So let's minimize 
before minimizing the window, I want you to take a look into the create module, sorry, into the create volume. So here we can see that it will be using um, this parameter uh, name from a variable called ball user. Then we have the aggregate name, the size, but uh, for creating a volume, we are missing um, the snapshot policy parameter. Uh, as you already saw, uh, the, the user Kate H doesn't have a, a specific snapshot policy. It has the default one. And this is because in the playbook, there is nothing configured there yet. So if we click on the NetApp Ansible modules, uh, here we are going to find uh, all the storage vendors documentation from Ansible. Here we have information from different vendors like EMC, uh, Cluster FS, uh, HP, Tripar, IBM, Infinitat. And now uh, here we have NetApp. So let's look for that particular uh, module. Let's refresh the name NA on tap volume. Okay, so let's scroll a little bit down. Yep, it's in here. And here we can find all the parameters of this of this module. So let's scroll down for looking a snapshot. A snapshot policy. Here we can see that uh, this is the full name of the parameter, a snapshot underscore policy. Uh, type of parameter is a string. And here we have to put the the name of the snapshot policy. In case nothing is there, we will be taking the, uh, the default one policy. So let's open the playbook and add the snapshot policy entry here. So let's hit enter after the login and start typing a snapshot policy colon and we will be using a policy called user storage and let's go back to the cluster then protection overview click on local policy settings then here we have snapshot policies and this is the, uh, the snapshot policy that we will be configuring for or SBM1 new new volumes. Here we can see the the schedule and therefore um, the corresponding retention. So let's go back to the dashboard and into the playbook. Here we have to specify the name of the snapshot policy user underscore storage. Yep, everything looks fine. Let's click on save. Quick just save the playbook. And let's go to the uh, Ansible AWX. Uh, here in the bookmarks, we already have it here. Let's open it in a new tab. Username is admin. Password NetApp one. Okay, here we have the and the interface dashboard, and let's go to the templates. So let's scroll down a little bit on the resources. Yeah, here it is, templates, and here we have three templates. Create new user and provision storage. On tap cluster setup, protect existing user volumes. So let's click on the rocket icon for create new user. Uh, the name of this user is Samuel, as I mentioned before. Uh, my, uh, my bad. 
this is username so it's it will be Sam J first name Samuel last name Jackson yep click on next here we can see the variables created click on launch Here we can see that um, this playbook is a status running and on the right hand side we can see the progress of the of the playbook. It's still gathering facts. Now it's creating the new AD user. And here we can see the steps. Provision user volume in on tab. Then create a volume, create shift share create a shift share ACL and then remove all other um, the everyone entry so that nobody else can join to that personal share drive so it's in a status is now successful everything worked fine let's go to the cluster one under storage volumes and here we are going to see our new volume there you go here is our user Sam J uh, new volume and if we scroll down a little bit here we can see that the snapshot policy for this particular one is user storage so how can we validate this let's go to the saves interface let's refresh this view and here we can see the the share drive for for new user Sam. Let's double click. Let's let's log in with the user credentials. Username is Sam J, as we prefer, as we stated it before. Uh, password will be NetApp one. It will be NetApp one. Yep. Okay. So let's minimize this. Second exercise: automate large scale administration. So as I show you before, this user Kate H uh, is with with. Uh, snapshot policy default. Let's take a look into Jane. Same scenario. Uh, it should be the same for uh, Grace and for Dan. Yep, uh, all the other users are are having the snapshot policy default, and we are going to automate the process of updating the snapshot policies because in uh, with uh, with the traditional uh, flow. Uh, and storage admin will be having repetitive tasks here, which is increasing the, the human risk of is increasing the risk of a human error. So fortunately, uh, here we have our playbook for protect existing volumes. And here we can see that. Uh, Whenever the condition is yes for identifying a volume starting with the name with the naming convention user underscore, it will be it will be updating the snapshot policy with user storage. It's really important that uh, to mention that this will not double work on an on a volume that already has user storage snapshot policy. So, so let's go back into our Ansible playbooks. Let's go to templates and launch the protect existing user volumes. Let's launch it with the uh, rocket icon. And here we can see that the status of this playbook is running. 
And here in this output, we are going to see that uh, the task is skipping the volumes uh, with no user underscore starting naming convention for you can, uh, for example, here you can see if vol zero, app one, app two, SBM root volume doesn't doesn't accomplish with that condition. And for the next volumes, uh, here you can see the status is changed. For the new user Sam, Sam J Samuel Jackson, uh, this is skipping because it already has the the user store as a snapshot policy. So let's validate this into the cluster perspective. I am going to go to dashboard and then back to the volumes. And here we can see the difference. Click on user dance and voila. Here we can see the new snapshot policy is user storage. Same for Grace L. Jane S. Everything worked as expected. Okay, so next activity simplify on tap day zero task. In this laboratory, NetApp has provided, provided us with a new node that will be that we will have to configure to be a new cluster. And here you can see that it's already prefilled here as not on tap cluster to. But if we click on it, it won't load any data because it's not configured yet. So let's take a look into the playbook. The name of this playbook is day0cluster.yml. And here we can see that the, the task that this playbook this playbook will be performing. We have a create cluster and for creating a cluster um, this playbook will be creating a cluster management leaf. Then it will create a user. The name of this user is going to be admin and the applications are here. In addition this, this playbook will be, uh, will be removing auto management leaf. So, I'm bringing for a second the lab guide. And here you can see that uh, this is information that we will be post, uh, we will be inserting into the into the playbook. And for this information, the only available IP address at this moment is the node management IP. And let's take a look there. So I'm um, typing here that IP address, which is HTTPS colon slash slash 192.168.0.112. Here we have the warning. Let's skip it and continue. Yep, here we have that node administration. Let's try to log in with admin credential. And here we have the, the new system interface for initializing the storage system. Here we have to put the name of the system, the admin password, networking, all the all the day zero tasks are in here from the GUI. And we will be performing the same, but from from our Ansible playbook. In addition, if we try to log in here, let's click on cluster two and load. As the cluster is not configured yet, uh, the connection won't work. So I'm opening a new party session and I'll try to reach this IP address. The note address 192.168.0. Okay, uh, previous connection timer out, which is the expected behavior. Now 168.0.112. Yep, 
Yep, from here we have access into the system. So at this point, I'm skipping this. And let's go to the uh, to the Ansible interface. So let's go to Templates. And click on ONTAP Cluster Setup. Click on the Rocket Launch icon. The name of this new cluster will be Cluster2. Cluster Management IP address is 192.168.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.